invented by Ascanio Sobrio in 1847. Nitroglycerin, or 1,2,3-trinitrooxypropane, is a heavy, colorless, oily, and explosive liquid, most commonly produced by nitrating glycerol with white fuming nitric acid. And since the conditions required for the reaction is not very difficult to obtain, given the necessary chemicals, you may actually be able to produce nitroglycerin yourself. But please don't try it at home. To start with the experiment, measure 10 mm of fuming sulfuric acid and keep it in an ice bath to cool it. When the sulfuric acid is cooled to about 10 degrees Celsius, add 10 mm fuming nitric acid slowly. Cool the solution and keep temperature at about 10 degrees Celsius. Then add a few drops of glycerin and keep it for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, transfer the entire mixture slowly into another beaker containing ice cold water. When this is done, the nitroglycerin will settle at the bottom so other acid can be drained away. After removing as much acid as possible without disturbing the nitroglycerin, adding sodium bicarbonate solution, it will neutralize the acid remaining. The final step is to remove the nitroglycerin from the sodium bicarbonate. This is done with a dropper, slowly and carefully. Remember to keep the nitroglycerin collected in a dark and cool place. We have successfully made nitroglycerin, the main component for the dynamite. Dynamite was invented by Alfred Nobel in the 1860s and was the first safely manageable explosive stronger than black powder. To make actual dynamite, we have to combine nitroglycerin with absorbents and stabilizers, rendering it safe to use while retaining its powerful explosive properties. Nobel's original composition of dynamite consisted of three parts of nitroglycerin, one part of diatomaceous earth as the absorbent, and a small admixture of sodium carbonate as a stabilizer. Ethylene glycerol dinitrate was later added to the nitroglycerin to lower its freezing point and keep it from freezing into a slush at lower temperatures. Nitroglycerin is unstable and the slight impact of friction can cause it to spontaneously detonate. When it explodes, a lot of energy is released as the atoms rearrange to form new molecules with strong and stable bonds like nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Thank you for watching.